What's up guys and welcome to my review for The Shape of Water. This film is directed by Guillermo del Toro. I can't pronounce his name. Guillermo del Toro. There we go. It's very hard. It's like a tongue twister to me. I don't know why. But it's directed by him, the director of the two Hellboy movies, Pan's Labyrinth and most recently Pacific Rim and Crimson Peak, which I didn't really care for Pacific Rim that much and Crimson Peak I didn't even see. But uh, I do really love the Hellboy movies. And uh, this is the story of a mute woman played by Sally Hawkins. And she plays a janitor at a super secret government facility overnight. She she's uh, the night shift with uh, Octavia Spencer, who she they're like cleaning buddies. They're the cleaning ladies at nighttime, and they discover that uh, they have this creature. There's this creature played by Doug Jones, who does all these uh, creatures and all these movies, and he's played by Doug Jones, and he's, he's uh, in this facility. So every night she takes her lunch break, Sally Hawkins, and uh, she sits with the creature, and uh, she spends time with it, and they bond. And she realizes over time, you know, he can't speak either, so they're kind of connected in that way, you know, they kind of teach each other things. You know, she uses sign language and she kind of teaches him some words in sign language as well, which is a very, uh, it's, it's a beautiful story. To me, this was a R-rated fairy tale. This is a fairy tale for adults. That's what it seemed like, because there are some gruesome things that happen in this movie. Michael Shannon is also in the film, and he plays kind of the bad guy in the movie who doesn't want the creature to get out. He wants to torture it. He wants to do all these tests on it. And Sally Hawkins, she doesn't want that. And if you've seen the trailers, you know exactly what happens, but I'm not really going to get into that. Michael Stuhlbar, I believe that's the actor's name, who's in this. Uh, his character, I think he did a great job in this movie. His performance was fantastic, and he kind of has a bit of a side plot where he's kind of negotiating with other people that uh, Ru the, the Russians or something, he's negotiating with them because they want the creature dead and all this, so now he has to decide, is he going to kill it? What is he going to do? Who is he going to work with? And I feel like all of these things has kind of intertwined so nicely. It's a really great movie. I absolutely loved The Shape of Water. Guillermo del Toro's direction for this movie is absolutely phenomenal. He came up with the story, and he also co-wrote the screenplay. Uh, and all of it was great. I loved every bit of this movie. There's a sequence in this movie that's completely black and white, and it kind of hits you in the face like, wow. But it's kind of like a, like an imagination kind of thing. So I really bought into it. I loved it. It's like this crazy kind of stuff that's happening, but it was so out there and it was so weird. I really loved it. And it's, this movie is different in so many ways, but it's great. It's so greatly different. It's so fresh. It's so unique. It's so original. And I love that. I love this movie. I think Sally Hawkins is fantastic in this movie. She'll definitely get nominated for Best Lead Actress. I think Richard Jenkins, I believe, uh, is the actor's name, who plays her neighbor. He's very good in the movie as well. Octavia Spencer is phenomenal in this film. I think she should be nominated for this for Supporting Actress. I didn't really think she should have been nominated for Hidden Figures last year, but she was. I think she's a shoe-in this year to get nominated for Best Supporting Actress. She is fantastic in this movie. The score by Alexandre Desplat is great. I sat there and I was just watching it right from the first minute, and, and as the film just goes on, I was so into it, and I was so interested, and I was so invested, and I was never bored because I was always wanting to know what was going to happen next. The movie always had my interest, and it always had me caring about these characters. It always had me caring about what was happening. And that is the best thing for a film to do. If you get invested, that is a great thing. So in the end of the day, The Shape of Water, I loved this movie more than I thought I would. And in the end of the day, I'm going to give it five out of five stars. I think this is a great film. It's a fantastic film. I think uh, it's definitely going to get in for Best Picture. Is it going to win? I have no idea. Out of the ones that I've seen right now, I think either this or this Disaster Artist should win Best Picture. But... Uh, the better chance of winning is probably this, but we'll see what happens. Guys, comment your thoughts. Do you plan on seeing The Shape of Water? And if you do, if you did see it, what do you think about it? Comment on the comments. Also, you can subscribe to this channel for a bunch of reviews coming out even today, tomorrow, within the next few days. There's going to be a ton of videos being put up on this channel. Reviews for Jumanji, Welcome to the Jungle, Call Me By Your Name. I'll be reviewing Darkest Hour. 
The Greatest Showman. Then on Monday, Christmas Day, I will be posting my top 10 Blu-rays of 2017. So uh, you could check that out. I'll be posting it sometime around 1 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. So uh, somewhere around there, 1 or 2, you could check that out when that video goes up. Guys, you could also follow me on Facebook and Twitter. The links of those are in the description of this video. And that's about it. Thank you very much for watching my review for The Shape of Water. Over and out. Eliza, honey, he's coming for you.